Hey guys, sorry about the horrible hair. I just woke up and I'm trying to film this video correctly. So I'm going to talk about my elf loves and elf letdowns. So laugh. Let, so laugh. So yeah, let's get into the video. So, one of my loves are their elf let brushes. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Because last time I took way too much time. So I have this eyeshadow brush, which is really good quality. I love the foundation brush really soft they're all super duper soft and only like a dollar and then those this one it's from the black line or just black so it's a little bit more expensive but super soft it's really stiff and it has like stuff i use this as a foundation brush and it doesn't give off any hot, darker thing so it's really good but i'm gonna use this now for my foundation brush and then I also tried out the Elf Custom Compact. I love this product. So, yeah. I love all the eyeshadows in here. I'm saving the last one for a MAC eyeshadow. Okay, come on. Switch your booch. Okay, there we go. So I have this blue one in teal. And all the prices will... Wait, no. Never mind. All of the, um, I'll put the e.l.f. website down in the down bar if you guys want to go buy these things. There's driftwood. Oh, I forgot to do swatches. I'll do those in a sec. And ivory. This is teal. This is driftwood. Let me do one more swatch of that. There you go, now you can see it. And then there's ivory. Which is a really pretty cream white. That's a custom comment. Um and then I also, okay, let me tell you two of the things I disliked. I disliked from Elf their, um, I did not like their Elf mascara. I tried that at my friend's house because my friend said she hated it. She wanted me to try it out to see if it was, like, good or bad because she just thought it was bad. And I tried it out, and I see, it, like, I went to the store and bought it for, like, $3. And I'm like, really? I think I'm just wasting, like, $3. But, yes. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. This mascara does not do anything. It just, like, all it does is make your eyes eyelashes black. That's literally it. And it just, it just makes your eyelashes black and puts them up a little bit. And that, I think that was like the link, I don't know, just, I would not recommend trying a mascara by e.l.f. I would totally just pay like six, I would totally just pay like five more dollars and get like the Faulty's one or the one by one. Recommend those, those are amazing. Or a signature one, I like the signature mascara. Um, so yeah, moving on. Um, I really like the e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick. Super duper pretty, and it's in Turkish coffee, and it's a lot like the NYX one in yogurt, and I'm like, I'm totally just going to pay $2 instead of, because I was like literally about to go and buy the NYX one before I went to Target and bought all the self stuff, and I'm like, I'm not buying any more NYX, <laughs> and it's right here, and it's really good for like either lining or crease color or just on the lid if you want to use a really dark color um and then I also love the pink color and it's a lip balm with SPF 15 the only thing and another thing I dislike not about this but I don't like the e.l.f. lipsticks. One. Number one. Okay. Number one. They 
don't really like they just don't stay on like they when you turn them over they pop out when they're just holding them you're doing your lipstick they go <laughs> my sister has one and I hate it like she says she doesn't use it ever because every time she does it tries to do it it pops out on her and gets her all fake her lips all off so I would not recommend the elf lipsticks unless you're willing to do that mm -hmm. I definitely like the mineral infused ones though I gave the mineral infused ones one last try I love the mineral infused ones they are six dollars but it's totally much more than buying a dollar one and having it pop out in your face so Thank you guys for watching. Bye.